All right. Um, well, not sure how this happened, but a while back when I was changing my oil, my 928, the, um, the threading, it wouldn't allow me to put on my new filter. And I played with it for a long time, couldn't get it back on, talked to a friend, I virtually had 500 miles on the original the, the oil filter that was on the car and he just said just for now just put it on there put it back you know you can use it again it's 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 the filter's fine i mean you virtually don't drive this car so i did and then i've been thinking about it for oh, at least a year just you know what's going on so i was looking at it with the mirror and um trying to figure out what was boogered up. Long story short, I think I found a back thread that was a little bit boogered. Um, try to use this tool, which actually works fantastic. You would use the uh, the 1.5 side where, yeah, right here, it's got multiple sides. But there's really no room to use that tool other than this thread side here. So I thought about cutting it down and and that wasn't gonna, I didn't really want to destroy the tool. I would have done it, but, um, so I went with the die. It is uh, M20 1.5 and yeah, made in China, baby. Um, and I tried to get a nicer brand somewhere else, but needless to say, the M20 was a size that nobody had um that at least i went to um they always stopped at a certain size and uh, so what i'm just trying to say is i actually went with this this uh from my understanding a hex a hex die is to actually chase threads i think that's the right terminology i'm not a die expert but you would use that to repair uh versus the other round one is actually to create you know from a cold steel roll or what do you call steel, steel bar and you would actually create the threads this one's to actually just chase it and so they have chamfer chamfers on both sides so i'm not an expert but pretty much what i've read is i think this one could actually be used either side but i went with um the uh the name of it on the outside and so the the meat that i touched it was going up like this and i squared it up because I, i'm actually pretty square uh, scared to use a die and i didn't want to get it off the line and so anyways i made sure it felt pretty in in place and squared went up screwed it in by hand only i didn't use a tool and it caught and uh went up and back quite a bit and my filter fits so i guess i just boogered up somehow one of the uh threadings of the uh, oil filter this gonna be the uh, the actual part that the oil filter connects to i don't know how because i always started by hand uh, i know this car's not a spring chicken so maybe that's part of it but uh if you come into this on your 928 m20 1.5 die um, again i went up and screwed it in made sure it was flush I was going to try to use that that file which i actually practiced with with a bolt uh, that I bought a 1.5 and just kind of just hit it with a hammer and and put a nut on it and uh, I fixed it and I was like oh man I got this and then I couldn't get the tool to fit in there I figured it'd be that way so I went with this instead which to me I was a little bit scared to use probably other guys probably not but I just didn't want to screw it up where I don't know where I'd go next and I'm not sure if I guess that part removes I haven't found anybody talking about a lot. A lot of those inserts unscrew out, but I haven't read it. I'm sure it does. Really don't want to pull the engine out for something this stupid. But looks like I'm all in the clear right now. Thanks. As always, please subscribe.